The 2022 Nippon Professional Baseball regular season is over, so let's rank the top 10 pitchers in Japan this year. I did a top 10 video last year and I'll mostly use the same criteria for evaluating pitchers here, but the main statistics I'm going to be looking at this year are earned run average, expected fielding independent pitching, strikeout rate minus walk rate, win probability added, and wins above replacement. No relief pitchers on this list, just traditional starting pitchers to keep things consistent. And do keep in mind that I strive for objectivity, but at the end of the day, this is just my opinion. With that being said, let's get started at number 10 with Yomiri Giants right-hander Shosei Togo. The 22-year-old made huge strides in his game this season as he set career highs and wins, ERA, innings pitched, complete games, strikeouts, and pretty much every other important category. Across 25 starts, Togo posted a 2.62 ERA, 1.15 WHIP, 3.21 FIP, and 3.56 XFIP in 171 and two-thirds innings pitched. He led the Central League in strikeouts with 154, giving him a strikeout rate of 21.9%. He was second in all of MPB in war with 5.1 and consistently worked deep into games, as he had 19 stars where he threw 100 pitches or more, tying him for the league lead. His ground ball rate was only 41.4%, so he is a fly ball pitcher, which might be a problem if MPB juices the balls again next year, but he doesn't give up much hard contact, so he should be fine. Now, Tomoyuki Sugano is an all-time great, but he's experiencing some regression, so it looks like Sugano is finally ready to pass on that ace rule to Togo. He's going to be the ace and horse of the Giants' future. At number 9, Seibu Lions right-handed pitcher Kona Takahashi. For the second straight season, Takahashi threw more than 170 innings, proving himself to be a true innings eater. He had a 2.20 ERA, 1.15 WHIP, 3.28 FIP, 3.46 XFIP, and finished second in all of MPB in WPA with 3.45. He's been cutting down on the fastball usage ever since he entered the league back in 2015, and he's really becoming among the best finesse pitchers in the country with a dominant slider and splitter combo. He only struck out 6.6 .6 batters per 9 innings, but he kept the ball on the ground and consistently kept his team in the game with an 80% quality start percentage. I definitely expect to see the 25-year-old anchor the Lions rotation for a long time. Next on the list at number 8, Chunichi Dragon Southpaw Shinosuke Ogasawara. Ogasawara was one of the premier prospects of the 2015 MPB draft class, but it took a while for him to really settle into the league. But this season, the 24-year-old finally put it all together for the best season of his career by far. Ogasawara tossed 146.2 innings and maintained a 2.76 ERA, 1.13 WHIP, 2.82 FIP, and a 3-flat XFIP with 4.4 wins above replacement. He dominated with an elite changeup and curveball and posted a 24% K rate, good for third in MPB among qualified pitchers. He was sharp for the entirety of the year, but especially down the stretch in September as he posted a 1.15 ERA with a 4-0 record. With a great role model like Yudai Ono in the rotation with him, it's no wonder why Ogasawara has been able to establish himself as one of the best left-handers in Japan. Speaking of southpaws, number 7 on the list is Shota Imanaga of the DNA Bay Stars. With the exception of a really bad 2018 season, Imanaga has consistently been one of the best pitchers in Japan throughout his career. But he took it to a whole new level this season and even threw a no-hitter as he finished the year with a 2.26 ERA, 0.94 WHIP, 3.24 FIP, and 3.18 XFIP in 143 and two-thirds. The 28-year-old was third in MPB among qualifiers in strikeout rate minus walk rate at 18.4% and made a quality start in 76.2% of outings. His sheer dominance was especially apparent at home where he went 7-1 with a 1.99 ERA. At the number 6 spot, another dragon, Hiroto Takahashi. It's difficult to fathom that Takahashi just turned 20 in August because he just put up a rookie season for the ages. Despite only making 19 starts, he's more than worthy of being ranked this high because he had a strikeout rate of 29% and opponents hit just 193 against him, both ranking 2nd in MPB, only behind Roki Sasaki among pitchers with at least 110 innings. And across 6 starts between July and August, Takahashi's ERA was below 1, proving that he is already one of the most electric arms in Japan. On the year, he had an ERA of 2.47, a WHIP of 1.04, a FIP of 2.86, and an XFIP of 2.93, all top 10 in their respective categories. 
It's going to be super exciting to see what this young stud has in store next season and beyond. Kicking off the top 5, Takayuki Kato, Southpaw of the Nippon Ham Fighters. Kato doesn't throw much harder than 85 miles per hour, but makes up for it with impeccable command as he finished with the second lowest walk rate for a qualified pitcher in MPB history at just 2.0%. The lack of free passes certainly helped him limit traffic on the bases as he had a 2.01 ERA, 0.91 whip, 2.75 FIP, and 3.05 XFIP through 147 and two thirds innings on the year. He was a whopping 18 for 21 on quality starts and accumulated 4.1 war and 3.41 WPA, ranking fourth in MPB. The 30 year old breakout sensation may not have the best stuff or the best velo in the league, but there is no doubt that he's among the most deceptive and economical soft tossers you'll ever see. At number 4, Hanshin Tigers right handed pitcher Koyo Aoyagi. Aoyagi went into the All-Star break with a sub-2 ERA for the second straight season and finished almost equally as strong to give him a 2.05 ERA, 0.97 whip, 2.76 FIP, and 3.02 XFIP on the year in 162.1 frames. The 28-year-old has been one of the best pitchers in Japan for the better part of the last half decade, but never put it all together quite like this, as he had a strikeout rate of 20.5%, a walk rate of just 5% and an opponent batting average of 215. Only 29.6% of batted balls against Aoyagi were hard hit, ranking second in MPB because it's just so difficult for batters to square up the ball against him with that unorthodox sidearm, almost submarine delivery. He also led the Central League in wins with 13 and was one of only four pitchers in MPB to post five wins above replacement or more this season. Coming in at the number three spot, SoftBank Hawks righty Kodai Senga. This might be the very last time you see Senga in a Hawks uniform because he will likely exercise his international free agent rights and make the move to Major League Baseball in 2023, but boy did he leave a lasting impression on the league. Senga has been one of the best pitchers in Japanese baseball history and things were no different this year as he posted a 1.94 ERA, 1.06 whip, 2.59 FIP, and 2.75 XFIP across 144 frames with a 27.5% K rate. The 30-year-old averages almost 96 miles per hour on the fastball but can touch 100 and couples it with a devastating split finger known as the Ghost Fork, and when he's commanding those weapons, he is practically unhittable as opponents batted just 208 against him. This was his seventh consecutive year winning double-digit games, so I wish him all the best with whatever team he ends up pitching for next year. Last season, I had Senga's teammate Nick Martinez at the number 3 spot, and he found some decent success in San Diego, so I think Senga can absolutely be a frontline starter in MLB. Moving on to number 2, Lotte Marines right-handed phenom Roki Sasaki. Ever since he was a top prospect in high school, everyone knew Roki would light the world on fire one day, but few expected it would be quite this soon. On April 10th, Sasaki threw the first perfect game in MPB in 28 years, striking out 19 batters including 13 consecutive Ks from the 1st to the 5th inning. On the very next start, Sasaki threw 8 more perfect innings, punching out 14, making it 17 straight perfect innings. I have never seen that level of dominance from a pitcher at any level, let alone at the highest professional level in the world outside of MLB. Sasaki had trouble keeping his body in tip-top shape throughout the year and had to skip multiple starts throughout the season, but he finished the 2022 campaign with a 2.02 ERA, 0.80 whip, 1.72 FIP, and 1.72 XFIP through 129 in a third innings of work. His strikeout rate minus walk rate of 30.6% is so good that it's better than any starting pitcher's K rate, let alone K minus BB rate. He didn't even allow a single home run until June 3rd. He put up 6.1 war in just 20 games and averaged 98.5 miles per hour on his fastball. Now he did run into some trouble in August and lost command of the forkball and just didn't look like himself on the mound for a while, but what do you expect? He's only 20 years old. If he's able to develop the slider to go alongside the flaming fastball and wipeout forkball, Sasaki is going to continue to put up numbers we've never seen before. And before we get to the top spot, here are some honorable mentions in no particular order. Yuki Nishi of the Hanshin Tigers had the 5th best ERA in MPB, but his underlying numbers weren't quite as good as the guys in the top 10. Yudai Ono of the Chunichi Dragons had another fantastic season, but he had the worst strikeout rate minus walk rate of his career since 2017. 
Keiji Takahashi of the Yakult Swallows was top 5 in strikeout rate, but only managed to throw 102 innings. Hiromi Ito of the Nippon Ham Fighters had the lowest opponent hard hit percentage in the league and kept the ball in the park very effectively, but his strikeout rate dipped quite a bit from his rookie year. And Masato Morishita of the Hiroshima Carp was an absolute workhorse and had 4.2 war, but his K rate dropped for the second straight season after an incredible rookie campaign. Ono, Ito, and Morishita were in my top 10 last year, and I could have made the case for any of these five guys to sneak into the top 10 this year, but they just missed the cut. And finally, the number one pitcher in Japan, Oryx Buffalo's righty Yoshinobu Yamamoto, the ace of Samurai Japan. After a Triple Crown, Sawamura Award, and an MVP award last season, it would be pretty tough for Yamamoto to replicate his success. But that's exactly what he did as he locked down back-to-back -back Triple Crowns, and will likely win another Sawamura Award and MVP as well. He had 15 wins, a 1.68 ERA, and 205 strikeouts. And if you remove his May 3rd start against the Hawks, where he was left in for way too long and ended up with the worst start of his career, then his ERA drops all the way to 1.37, even better than last season. He had a whip of 0.93, a FIP of 2.05, and an XFIP of 2.31, all right in line with his 2021 numbers. He tossed 100 plus pitches in 24 of his 26 starts and threw 18 more innings than the next best pitcher in the Pacific League. Among qualifiers, he had the best ground ball rate, the best strikeout rate minus walk rate, the best FIP minus, and pretty much every other important statistic you can think of. He also threw his first career no-hitter in June. He was by far the most valuable pitcher in the league, putting up 5.16 WPA and 7.9 WAR, meaning he's been worth almost 17 wins above replacement over the last two seasons combined. Yamamoto just has so many white belt weapons, including the fastball, slider, cutter, curveball, and splitter, so there's no doubt that he is the best pitcher in Japan right now, and he's definitely putting himself firmly in the conversation as a top 10 pitcher of all time. Alright, so there you have it. Those are my top 10 pitchers in Nippon Professional Baseball for the 2022 regular season. A couple prominent names that were on the list last year but didn't make it this year include Yuya Yanagi, Hiroya Miyagi, Naoyuki Uesawa, Takahiro Norimoto, and a handful of guys I mentioned during the honorable mentions. Hopefully, they'll be able to find their way back onto my top 10 in 2023. Special thanks to my patrons, Chris J, Jonathan Greenberg, Hinosato Yaku, Poker Packrat, Corgi Racing, Anthony Pang, Jake Royce, Marcus Hill, Yua Bird, Ryan Fox, Jeff W, Char Aznable, Juan Jose Sanchez, Bracamontes, Christopher Woods, Samantha Garibay, Yuki Samarine, Kud, Jem Morelos, Gabriel Foss, Kurt Berglund, Eduardo Granados, Kotaro Imahayashi Kim, J1, Tom Musa, Mike Braun, Lucas Bora, Stu22, Alex Irish, Marty Mercury, PB Cow 98, Tokyo Kyojin fan Dave Hackerson, Brainlit Wojak, and Riku. If you'd like to become a patron yourself, please check out patreon.com slash baseballcosmo. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more MPB content in English.